I smile more than what my sister got on today. Okay. Georgia said, smile for smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yes, ma'am, little sister. All right, let's pile through just for a second, and I'll stop. Hello, this is David Thomas with ShelbyvilleNow.com. I'm here with Coach Jake Tyre of Cascade Champions. Coach had a big win Friday night. That's three in a row now. You uh, went into Grundy County and won the game 55-35. Uh, and, and it sounds like to me you're starting to come together as a team. Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, it's uh, it was a big win Friday night. You know, they're a 3A school, bigger school than us, you know. And, uh, you know, riding this momentum, you know, I feel like – like I said, I've said this over and over again, starting Watertown week. We've started to get, starting to gel, started to gel as a team. Watertown, you know, we got beat pretty bad, but we, we played well. And then, you know, community, we played really well. You know, that that was kind of the turning point. You know, the kids came out focused and ready to play, you know, the entire night from the from, from the get-go. From when we met after school and ate our meal until the end of the game, they were focused on the mission. And the same thing carried over to the next week against Jackson County. And, uh and then on to last week against Grundy. I mean, the kids, the kids were focused. The kids came out expecting to play well, and that, that's a big thing because you know we, we went through 14 games, where we didn't win one, and, and the kids expected to lose every Friday night, and that was hard. I mean, that was hard to break. And now the kids have got the mindset: Hey, we expect to win on Friday nights, regardless of who we're playing. You know, they expect to come out there and play well, and expect to win a game, and that's what you've got to have if you want to have a successful program. Absolutely. I was talking to one of your seniors Sunday, and he said, we're starting to play together. We're starting to play together. So, obviously, when you play together, some individuals start to stand out. Let's talk about Singleton's big night. Oh, Wendell's done a great job. You know, he, he he's progressively gotten better every game, too. You know, he's he clips 100 yards rushing uh, – against Watertown, you know, that's, some, that's not something easy to do. And the next week he comes back with 150, and then I think he had 158, 159 against um, Jackson County. And then last week just, just came out of the gates, man. He had 258 yards, I do believe. And, you know, he could have had more if I gave it to him more at the end, but there ain't no sense in that. So, but he is he has came on and turned into that that number one tailback you want, the one you can hey, hand the ball to, you know he's going to get you three or four yards if you need it, and he can break it for 60. You know, he's got that speed. So, you know, he's a good dynamic. There's a good, there's a good mix between him and Jay Hall, you know, Thunder and Light. And oh, you yeah. look at Jay can get him ground to pound and get me the easy, the, the, the tough three or four yards, you know, the two yards, the one yards, and Wendell can turn around and, you know, and break it for 60, you know. So Wendell's done an excellent job. You know, he put some in the off season. He got in the weight room. He gained a little weight. You know, he was I think he was about 130 pounds last year, maybe 120 pounds. And then, you know, he's probably both about 160 now. So Wendell's done a good job gaining the weight and, and taking the game seriously. So he's a, he's a big time player. You know, he's, he's a big part of why we are where we are right now because we've been able to turn around and lean on Wendell and give him 20 carries a game and it doesn't phase him. Well, that's big when you have a player like that. But it also sounds like you're starting to gel and start to get some chemistry. Yeah. And um, when when that starts to happen, you got to look at your senior leadership. I know this coming Friday night is senior night. Yeah. Talk about some of your seniors and, and what they mean to this team. I mean, the seniors, I mean, they that's something that, that, that you've got to have. When a team's playing well, you've got good seniors. You know, you got seniors. Not, not they don't necessarily have to be good football players, but they have to be good leaders. They have to be good people. And I've got a group of kids right now that you know they're 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 great kids. You know, they're great kids on the field and they're great kids off the field. You know, they're going to do big things outside of football. They're going to be very successful in their lives. And you know, and and that and that helps when they start taking ownership of the program. When they start saying, hey. You know, I don't want to do this. You know, I, I don't want to lose football games. I mean, I want to win. And they start the, holding the other kids accountable or even holding each other accountable. You know, it makes it easier for a coach, you know, because they hear from us all the time. You know, they hear the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Hey, get to practice on time. Hey, get your grades up. And then when they start hearing from their peers and hear from the senior leaders, that's what you've got to have to uh, take that next step. And this, this group of kids have done that. They took that leadership role on and they said, you know, they've owned it, you know, other than season. They owned. Hey, we weren't doing a very good job. We weren't playing well. I was. They weren't. They and individually. They weren't having. You know that that. Hey, we did it wrong. We did it wrong. We had. They had a players meeting about. It was. It was actually community week. And after that, since we've had that, I mean, they've 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 really been great leaders. You know, coming out here and practice hard every day. At this point in the season, practice it it isn't fun. They they're tired of practice and they're just wanting to play on Friday nights. You know, and you know they come out here and they get it done. They do what they're supposed to do. They're doing it in the classroom. You know, and 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 it it shows by our progress we've had on Friday nights. 
Well, it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch a team start out like they did and then just turn it around and gel and, and start to start to win games. And I know it's great for the program. Well, this coming Friday night, you've got a challenge against Trousdale County. What do you look for out of them and how do you prepare for them? I mean, Trousdale, Trousdale is at the at the top of high school football any, any, for any classification in the state. They're, they're, you look at Trousdale and you, the Trousdale counties, the Alcoas, the Merrill, and you say, that's where I want my program to be one day. And, you know, we want to go out there and we want to compete with them. And we want to have a shot to win the game. And the kids know that and the kids believe that. And so what we've got to do is we've got to play – We've got to play perfect football, and we've got to, you know, we got to get some breaks in our favor. But we can't beat ourselves because Trials is good enough. Right. We can't, we can't beat ourselves and give them the opportunity to beat us. So we've got to play perfect on both sides of the ball, and we've got to have a couple breaks. But these kids can play because, like I said, they're playing as a team, and they believe. They believe they can go out there and play against Trials on Friday. I believe they can go out there and play against Trials on Friday. Now we've just got to put it in motion and get it going. And Trials, I mean, they're a monster in itself. I mean, they're 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 just one of those teams that you've always known. Hey. There's a reason they've got 14 state champions, I do believe. I mean, they're, they're a team that you, you want to strive to be like. So, you know, we come out here and play well, uh, play disciplined, hard-nosed football, man. You never know what's going to happen on Friday night. Absolutely. Well, we look forward to it this Friday night, and uh, we just want to hope everybody will come out and support these okay, guys. Yeah. And, and a, a special night for senior night. We hope this place is packed, and we look forward to, to seeing how y'all you guys do. And uh, we wish you the best of luck Thanks, and look, look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you, man.